A living wall, an entire wall of plants that's a rather nice, though often expensive, addition to any new city centre development. Now this man works for the company that creates them and he's been thinking big thoughts about vertical plants. So I was just having a sort of a personal brainstorm and sort of thinking where could we fit more greenery into the city centre and then it struck me there's actually a lot of railings all around the city and maybe there's something we could, we could do with those. So that, that's really where the idea came from. And this is the result, an experimental green wall. Well, more of a green screen. It's made of ivy and it was funded by local businesses in the Southside district of Birmingham. So this isn't traditional ivy with suckers and clinging abilities because high waste departments worry that might damage their lovely grey railings. So instead, this is ivy without suckers that's actually woven onto these metal screens by hand and then the whole thing is brought in and planted in place. Lots of claims are made about green walls, including the beneficial impact on pollution levels. And that's why Staffordshire University are looking at this wall. They've taken leaves from the ivy plants in Birmingham and looked at them under a scanning electron microscope. Those white dots are the tiny pollution particles, many from diesel engines, trapped on the surface of the ivy leaves. And the really great thing about it is that it uses space which isn't used. What's the chances of making a brand new big park in Birmingham? Pretty small, I'd say, because it's going to cost a lot of money to knock down buildings to do it. But you've got all that unused space, perfect for improving the visual environment, mental well-being, and it's removing pollution. What's not to like? They're planning more research to find out just how much pollution the ivy is sucking from the air and is it permanently locked away. But in the meantime, expect this idea to spread like, well, ivy. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Business Today, Birmingham.